Warriors, we are live from the quarantine and I am super excited to do this strength workout with you. It is going to be a fantastic, I'm super excited. Um, let's see, what do we need for today? We're going to be doing some Snurpees, some speed push-ups. We're going to be doing uh, some Tabatas with some single leg bridges, some speed squats, grasshoppers, dead bugs, hip lifts, plank arm raise. So um, looks like we're pretty good for equipment unless you want to um, really, really make this uh, strength day uh, more difficult. You can use, uh, you can use uh, uh, dumbbells, um, kettlebell, cat. I I'm sure everybody has a cat at this point. Um, so uh, you, can, you can go ahead and use, use your little feline friend. Um, story of the day is uh, the, the theme for this month is about everyday heroes. And um, the story of the day was about this, this um, uh, woman, she was going to pick up her daughter from school, and this is based on a true story, uh, and when she was picking up her daughter from school, she was in the parking lot and she ran into the car in front of her. And in a panic, she threw the car in reverse and ended up running over her daughter. And um, the, um, there was a baseball team that was practicing nearby the high school basketball, the high school baseball team, and they um, uh, heard the cries and they all ran over to the car. Uh, collectively, there was about 10, uh, 12 kids, and they um, all picked up the car, got the girl out. Uh, she went to the hospital and um, you know some minor injuries, but she was she was okay. And the, the baseball coach said, we might not have the best baseball team, but we really do have a bunch of great guys that are willing to get out there and, and help people when needed. And um, the ironic thing about me telling this story today was just about this time last year, a very similar thing happened uh, where I was walking down Hawthorne and I heard this, these horrific, horrific uh, screams and cries. And I ran to this car that had just hit this woman on a bike so it was the car, her bike, and then her leg was pinned underneath it. And there were people standing around, but um, the, um, the police nor the, uh, the fire uh, or the ambulance had come yet. And so um, I started to, I, I've had training as a first responder, so I, I, uh, had, I um, was telling people, we gotta lift up the car and get her out of there. And there was one guy standing there and he was like, no, we should just leave her. And I was like, no, we're lifting up the car and we're getting her out. And so about four of us lifted up the front end of the car as another person picked up the bike and another person slid her out. And um, her agony definitely subsided with not having the tonnage of the car on her. Um, but um, the, the moral of the story is, is that at any given moment, we just never know when we need to jump into action. And uh, um, on a strength day like today, we would normally be doing deadlifts or we would doing, be, be doing bench press or back squats or front squats. Um, and uh, even though we're not doing those, we're still working on our strength. We're still working on our strength to be able to deal with challenges that life sends, us, sends at us at any given moment. You just don't know, all right? As obviously with the, the pandemic that's going on out there right now. Anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna do some mobility, and then we're gonna get right into our strength workout. Let's start with a cat to cow. So for my cat to cow, what I want to do is I want to make sure that my shoulders are directly over my wrists and I want to start with my tailbone, tucking in that tailbone and feeling my vertebrae extend up to the ceiling as my tailbone comes down and my shoulders go up to the ceiling, head goes down. So that's my cat. And then when I start my cow, I'm going to lead with my tailbone again and I'm going to feel each vertebrae as I extend my head up, my tailbone, my hips are up, middle torso is pulling down towards the ground. Let's go back into that cat. Guys, take your time with it. Really, really feel that stretch. All right. This is a really, really good stretch to do if you're sitting at your desk and you just wanna take a moment and you just wanna move and feel your body stretch Get some, get some of that um, stress off that lower back. Let's do a couple more each way. Again, guys, feel it, just going slow with this, feeling each vertebrae stretch, each vertebrae move. All right. 
One more, breathe in. Breathe out on that cow. All right, next, we're gonna go into our frog. I was feeling a little bit of a animal theme today. So for my frog, what I wanna do is I'm gonna widen out my knees. And then I'm gonna have my, le my, my legs at about a right angle, my feet about a right angle, right down from my, uh, right down from my knees. I'm gonna come down onto my forearms. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze the earth with my knees for a five count. Four, three, two, one. I want you to relax. If you need to, you can rock forward to really get into that relaxed position. We're gonna do this again, so push back into it. Push your butt back into it. We're gonna squeeze the earth for four, three, two, one, relax. I'm gonna rock forward. I'm also gonna to try to get my knees out just a little bit more this time. Get a little bit more stretch in that groin. Just be gentle, be careful with that groin. Push back into it. Squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, relax. All right, guys. Now we're gonna warm up our shoulders. We're gonna do a downward and upward dog. So. I'm gonna come into this A-frame position. I'm gonna widen out my feet. I wanna push my body back into my hips. So my head is in between my arms. My head is in between my arms and I'm pushing back. Now I'm gonna pedal out my feet. So let's do five pedals on each side. And then I'm gonna go into my upward dog. So I'm gonna come into this dive bomber position. I'm gonna come up. I'm not putting my legs or my hips on the ground, but I am reaching my head up. I'm reaching my shoulders up, breathing, breathing, keeping my legs tense. And then I'm gonna come back into that dive bomber position, into my downward dog. Let's pedal those feet again. Now, if it's too hard for you to do that dive bomber position, you could always come down to your knees and then come up into it. That's totally fine. The dive bomber is a little bit more of a progression and advanced progression on this. Breathing. If you can, do the dive bomber. If not, just go back to your knees and go into that downward dog. Make sure you're getting those head, your head next to your bicep. Pedaling it out. One more dive bomber. Just feel that stretch, hold it. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go into the skill strength phase of our strength workout. So we've been working on our Snurpees. If you're not familiar with the Snurpee, it is not a burpee. It's a little bit more kind and gentle. I was about to say we're not doing any pistol squats today, but if you can do a pistol squat with the Snurpee, I want you to do it. But if you can't, that is totally fine. So I'll show you the two different ways of doing a Snurpee. So um, the first way, the, 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 the progression with this is just sitting down on the ground. I'm gonna bring my legs out straight. I'm gonna lay down. My arms are in close to my chest. I'm gonna go into a knee grab where I grab my shins, my feet are flat at the top, my shoulders are over my hips. I'm gonna come back down, then I'm gonna roll over, I'm gonna pop up, and now I'm facing the, the other direction. So then I would come back down, go back into my knee grab, all the way back down, roll it over, pop it up, all right? So facing one way is one, Facing the other way is two, and we're gonna be doing five of those. So let's go ahead and do a couple more for our warm up. If you're doing a pistol squat, you're gonna put your leg out straight. You're gonna come all the way down to the ground. You're gonna be doing your knee grab, rolling over, coming up. Try to switch out that pistol squat to that other leg, coming all the way down, going into that knee grab, rolling over and pop it up, all right? So that's our Snurpee. And then we're gonna go into our speed push-up. So guys, for, this, for the, for the uh, explosive power push-up that we were doing on Tuesday, or for the speed push-up, 
If you're not used to doing push-ups, I just want you to work on the form of that. That is super important. So what we do at Training for Warriors is that we don't do kneeling push-ups. We do a progression where we go from a higher surface, an elevated surface, to a lower surface. So maybe you have a piano, or maybe you have a countertop that you can do this from, and then you're gonna progress lower and lower, then maybe to a coffee table, maybe to a couple books, and then down to the ground for our strict push-up. We also have a re resistance band version of this too that you can do. So for my push-up, what I wanna do is I wanna have my feet together, my legs are completely on, my body is one solid unit, I'm not gonna lose my abs, I'm not gonna let my hips drop. I'm gonna keep my butt slightly elevated as I bring my chest down and I come back up. Bring my chest down to the surface and come back up. Now, I want you to keep those elbows in tight or at a 45 degree angle. Just don't bring those elbows out to the side because you're putting a really bad strain on your shoulders, all right? So, if you're doing a speed push-up or, um, or if, you are, if you have progressed to doing a strict push-up and you just want to work on your strict push-up, that's totally fine too. But for my speed push-up, I want to go as fast as I possibly can, all right? So give me five right now in whichever version that you're doing. I'll also demo the push-up from the floor. So coming in, my, leg, my feet are together, coming all the way down and up, making sure to touch my chest to the floor as I do it. Now with my strict push-up, I'm able to do a strict push-up, but I'm not able to do a speed push-up yet from that. So for the purpose of this workout, I'm gonna do it from an elevated surface just to make sure that I get that, that um, velocity that I wanna get with this for this workout. All right, so let's start by grabbing some water before we get into it. So for this workout, we're gonna do six sets of five reps each, and then we're gonna deliberately rest for 45 seconds. When we deliberately rest for a certain period of time, during these, speed strength, during these strength workouts, we're able to recover and we're able to get stronger for our next set. So the 45 seconds is super important. Just don't go racing through this, this part of the circuit, okay? So let's go ahead and go into our Snurpees. I'm gonna be doing the pistol squat. You can do the um, other way that I showed you where you lower yourself on the ground. Going into that knee grab, you're popping up, coming back down to the ground, lay flat. Go into that knee grab, roll over, pop up, that's two. Knee grab, roll over, this is three. I'm trying to keep my balance. This is four. And one more. Haha, -ha. there we go. Roll over, and that's five. Going immediately into our push-up, whichever version that you're doing. Two, three, four, five. And we're gonna rest for 45 seconds. So guys, with those push-ups, really try hard to get those, those lats to activate with it. So you're squeezing your arms in, almost pretend like you have a towel in your armpit that you're trying not to drop. That's how we keep those lats engaged to get that upper body power out of our push-up. So that was set one. We have five more to go. We have about 15 more seconds of rest and then we're gonna get back into it. So go ahead, grab some water. And throughout this circuit, if you're feeling gassed, you can either pause it, recover, get your heart rate down, or you can skip one of the sets. And then, and then join us again. So listen to your body, listen to what your body's saying, all right? I'm just gonna grab a sip of water real fast and we're gonna start again. So, going into my Snurpee, coming down to the ground, going into that knee grab, back down, roll over, pop it up. It's one, coming down to the ground, knee grab, roll it over. That's two. Knee grab, roll it over, three, knee grab, 
Roll it over. Four. Ah, ah, ah. Knee grab. Roll it over. And five. Immediately go right into that speed push up. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. That was set two. We're going to go into set three. And we have 45 seconds of rest. Okay. So I am going to start by making sure I grab some water. I've been having to edit out the swallowing noises because my mic picks up on it and it's really, really gross. So sometimes when you're doing these workouts and you see a little, little cross dissolve cut, it's because I've edited out those ridiculously loud and grotesque swallows. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going back into it. All right, here we go. Set three, going down, lay back, go into that knee grab, roll over, and you're up. Make sure you're switching out your leg each time if you're doing those pistol squats. All right, jumping up. If you're not doing the pistol squats, that's fine. Life is a little bit easier right now. <laughs> That's three. Roll it over. It's four. Rolling it over. And five. Let's go right into our speed push ups. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Yes. All right, going into our fourth set. I seem to have read a lot of noise on the secret Facebook group yesterday about the disdain for the pistol squats and for the squats. Guys, this is good medicine. I do love the banter. It's really, really fun. Um, but just so you know, we're just doing this to help you get stronger and stay strong during all this craziness that's happening out in the world right now. Anyway, I uh, did a workout with Doylestown the other day. We're do Josh and I are gonna do a workout with Training for Warriors uh, um, Stockyards today, which is gonna be super, super fun. We know, we know the owners of that dojo too. And uh, I really look forward to the different ways that those guys are gonna kick our butts today. So if you haven't checked out the passport calendar yet and you have questions about it, let me or Josh know and we'll walk you through it. But all these different dojos are doing Zoom workouts at different times of the day. And you can join in on their workout. So we're gonna go right into our Snurpee. Here we go, here we go. Knee grab, roll it over, pop it up. Ha ha, coming down. Lay flat at the bottom, guys, before you go into that knee grab. Coming up, that's two. Roll it over. This is three. Ah. Four. Knee grab, roll it over. Five, immediately go into your speed push-ups. Two, three, four, five. End on the down to make sure that you did a full rep. Resting for 45 seconds. We're gonna go into our fifth set. We're making sure that we stay hydrated. Grab some water. Anyway, if you hadn't heard me talk about the uh, Training for Warriors passport calendar, where you can do the different, extra, the different uh, workouts with the different dojos. There's so many different dojos working out at different times of the day, and they're putting their live Zoom meetings on there. So when you click on the calendar, there's gonna be like a little passport that comes up in the, a uh, little, um, I'm sorry, password that comes up in the pop-up. It should be a numeric password. You copy that and that gets you into the meeting. Anyway, it's really, really cool. Um, I think Training for Warriors Doylestown Yesterday, collectively as a dojo, was going to take over uh, training for warriors 
Coral Spring. So it was a big secret, and they were just going to pop up on their Zoom meeting and be like, we're here. Anyway, I thought that was a really, really neat thing to organize. All right, guys, we got about five seconds left. Going into our fifth set, try to make sure you're keeping track. If you're doing those pistol squats, which leg? I'm doing my left leg when I'm doing it towards you. I'm trying to remember to do my right leg when I'm facing away from you. Just to keep me on track, this is two. Popping up. Makes it easier when you come down. If you find a spot on the wall, that'll make it a little bit easier with your balance. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Four. And this is my fifth. All right. Speed push-ups. Do it. Or just do regular push-ups. Work on your form. Make sure you're not letting that butt dip. Keep that butt raised. You're one solid unit. I like to talk about being like a tree trunk when I'm doing those push-ups because I want my entire torso, my hips, my legs to be one unit that moves solidly together as opposed to having that front torso just dip over your one solid unit. So keep everything on. Make sure everything is squeezing while you're doing those push-ups. It'll make it easier, especially at Training for Warriors. We really talk about perfection of form. That's super important. So if you're getting gassed throughout this, we do not want to see your form suffer. And that's why we have our call out, which is last set, best set. So somebody yells out last set, and then somebody responds with best set. That's the set that you want to keep in that head when you're done with it. You don't want a crappy version. You want the best version, the really, really tight form. All right, guys, this is it for this part of our workout. Go down, lay back, go into that knee grab, roll it over, pop it up. Coming down, knee grab, roll it over. Yeah, switching out that leg. If you're doing that pistol squat, knee grab, roll it over, pop it up. Ha ha, Got that knee grab, rolling it over, popping it up. And here is my last one, you're welcome. Rolling it over, popping it up, right into my push-ups, speed push-ups, whichever way you're doing it. Two, three, four, five, and on the down. All right. So that was it for that part of the workout. And what we're going to do is two exercises. We're going to go back and forth with those two exercises. We're going to work for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds, Work for 20 seconds on the other exercise, back and forth for four minutes. So while you're resting, while you're getting water, I'm gonna go ahead and demo this part of our circuit. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is gonna be the single leg. Um, we're gonna do a single leg bridge. So I have my butt on the ground. I'm pushing my lower back into the ground when my butt's touching the ground. I'm gonna lift one leg up straight in the air. I wanna lock out that leg. This foot is in close to my butt and I'm gonna reach that flat part of my foot up in the air as high as I can. When my butt comes back down to the ground, touch that lower back to the ground as you do it, all right? So we're gonna be doing that for 20 seconds. And then we're gonna go into our speed squats. So, I'm gonna widen out those feet. I'm gonna make room for my hips to travel down. And with this, since we're, we wanna do speed squats with it, we might not wanna grab some weight, unless you have some light weight and, and it's not gonna challenge you too much. But we really wanna get the speed with this. So guys, when I come down, I wanna make sure that my hip is either in line with my knee or slightly lower and come back up. What I'm trying not to do is I'm not trying not to lean over. I'm trying to stay as upright as possible. So for my speed squat, boom, boom. I'm trying to go as fast as I possibly can. All right, we're gonna be doing that for 20 seconds. And then we're gonna go back into our single leg bridge, 
but that time be conscientious of having that other leg go up for that 20 seconds that you're working out, okay? So hopefully we're all good for this part of the workout. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the timer. And we're starting in three, two, one, go. Lifting that leg, really squeeze those glutes at the top, guys. Trying to get that full connection of your lower back to the floor. When you come down, three, two, one, stand it up. We are resting for 10 seconds. And then we're going into our speed squats. Two, one, and we're going. Lock out those legs at the top. Lock out those knees. Bring that pelvis forward. Squeeze those glutes like you're cracking a walnut in your butt cheeks at the top. Something we don't normally do on a daily basis, but hey, I bet we can do it now. Two, one. All right, switching it out to our single leg bridge. On the other side, gonna press that heel to the ceiling, get that lower back on the ground, and we're going. Really get those hips to lift. You should maybe feel this in the quad, the front of that leg of your supporting leg. Three, two, one. Standing up. Going back into my speed squats. We are gonna be squat masters. Two, one, down and up. So guys, try not to go shallow with this. Try to get that depth. Trying to get below that knee if possible with those hips. If we were in the dojo, we might set up a box for you to bring your butt down so that you know where your butt is as far as depth is concerned. All right, switching it out to the first leg that we started with, and we're going. Getting that foot dorsal flexed, so it's not pointed, it's flexed. Making sure to get that full touchdown with your back on the ground as you do this. Two, one, stand it up. More speed squats, yay! It's my favorite. Two, one, and we're going. Yes. Squeezy squeezies, guys. Really get that butt to push forward, get that pelvis to push forward at the top. So you're reset each time. Three, two, one. Switching it out. Guys, this is our last set of each. So this is gonna be our best set of each. Switching out to the other leg. It's dorsal flexed foot. Lifting up and down. Up and down. You got this. I got faith in you. Get that foot up as high as you can by bringing those hips up as high as you can. Three, two, one. Hand. Speed squats. And then that's it for squats for the day. That's good. All right, here we go. Really, really squeeze at the top. Getting that full range of motion. Keeping that chest as upright as we can get it. Three, two, one. Aha! Now we're gonna rest for about 90 seconds. Again, guys, rest is super important with this. While we're doing these Tabatas, again, if you're getting gassed, just delete one of the ones that we're doing and then catch back up with us again, all right? Or you can pause this and just catch your breath, okay? Next, we're gonna do grasshoppers and dead bugs. So for my grasshopper, I'm gonna show you a progression of two different ways of doing this. Either way, I want you to make sure that you keep your shoulders over your wrists. The one way is you're just gonna step that hand, I'm sorry, that foot next to that hand, bring it back into that high plank. Again, don't have that butt down. 
Don't have your body pushed back into this A-frame. We want to stay with our shoulders over our wrists. You're going to switch it out to the other foot, coming back in. Switch it out, back in, switch it out, back in. Now, if you want to make this a little bit harder, what you're going to do is you're going to switch it out midair. So both feet are off the ground when I'm midair, switching it out each time, okay? And then for my dead bugs, if you're not using, used to doing dead bugs, they can be a little bit on the tricky side. My arms and my legs stay straight when I start this, okay? And then my opposite arm and opposite leg reach to the front wall and to that back wall. Now, I like to touch my leg that's up in the air because that reminds me that I want to keep my opposite hand up, coming back in, switch it out. So again, guys, when I'm in the middle, my arms and my legs are all up at the same time, and then I have it come back down again, all right? Switching it out. Now, if you find that really hard, you can also do bent leg. I find the straight leg a little bit easier for me because it just reminds me of keeping my arm and my legs straight at the top. But that is a dead bug. All right, we're going back into it. In three, two, one, with our grasshoppers. So you are either switching it out each time, trying to get that foot next to that hand, or you're switching it out midair. Three, two, one. Woo! For the purpose of this workout, I might not be able to sustain that as I talk the entire time, but we'll see. Going into my dead bugs, opposite arm, opposite leg. My other arm and legs stay straight as they reach back behind me, as that leg reaches in front of me. Switching it out. Great job, warriors. Three, two, one. Aha! Back into grasshoppers. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Three, two, going into it. Still, even when I'm switching it out, midair, I'm making sure to keep those shoulders over those wrists. All right? Don't push back on it. Three, two, one. Oh my, that's hard. Ha <laughs> ha, good medicine guys. Going back into our dead bugs. Do you feel like a dead bug after you do those grasshoppers? Oh my gosh, again with the animal, insect, amphibian theme that we're doing today. Look at that continuity. Switching it out, opposite arm, ha ha, going back into my grasshoppers. All right, two, one. Makes it a little bit hard to talk while I'm doing these. It's a lot of exertion. Uh, just try really hard guys to get those foot, the foot next to that hand as you bring it forward, right? Two, one, ha ha, dead bug. Yeah, you got this, you got this. Feet are flexed, down and up. Such a good coordination exercise. So if you're new with, with us and you haven't done dead bugs before and you're struggling with them, Please know that just about everybody in the dojo struggles with these. <laughs> All right, guys. This is our last set of each. Going into it. Whew. Getting warm up in here. Ugh. Again, if you're just placing, get that nice mobility stretch with this at the top, or you're switching it out dynamically. All right, going back into the dead bug. 
Whee! Ha! This feels like a really nice rest after those grasshoppers. <laughs> going slow and controlled. We're not going fast with these dead bugs. All right, two, one. Ha ha. All right. We have one more Tabata in this part of the circuit. We're going to grab some water first. All right, guys. So for this part of our Tabata, we're going to do a, we're going to do a hip lift. So this is an ab workout. Now, if you don't have anything to anchor yourself onto, that's okay, it's no big deal. What you're gonna do, you're gonna place your hands out to the side. You're gonna have your lower back onto the ground. You're gonna touch your toes to the ground. You're gonna have your knees bent as you come up. Now this is the more advanced way of doing it, is bringing those legs straight up in the air. All right, if you have something to anchor yourself with, you can grab that, do the same thing. Maybe a couch, maybe a heavy kettlebell. The other way that you do this, have your hands out to the side. My knees are bent. I'm bringing my knees up to my face and back down. Just don't knee yourself in the face and then touch those toes back down. So that's that hip lift, getting those hips off the ground as you're contracting those abs to lift those hips up, all right? And then we have our planks with rotation so I'm in this plank position, shoulders over the elbows. I bet you're hearing a theme at this point. So we don't want to push back. We don't want that butt up in the air. We want that butt down or at the same level as our shoulders. We're going to rotate out, back in, rotate out, come back in. All right. So doing that plank with rotation. All right. We have about 14 seconds of rest left. And then we're going to go into our last round of Tabatas. Great job, guys. This is a hard one. All right, let's start on the ground, going into our hip lifts. So either bringing those knees to the face, being controlled, maybe you have a couch you can anchor onto, or a table. All right, if you want to progress this, that's when you're going to lift your legs straight up in the air. All right. Now, I'm going to switch over into my plank with T-spine rotation. And I'm going in two, one, rotating. Throwing those elbows. All right. Keeping those hips down. Feeling that really nice twist as we're doing this. Okay. Three, two, one. Aha. Going back into my hip lift. I love these exercises that have different progressions to them. Most do. Really like doing these hip lifts. Getting that extension with it if you can. If you can't, that's fine. Just keep those knees bent. Bring your knees to your face. And switching it out. All right, going into those planks. Everybody loves a plank. Here we go. Rotating. Having those legs out wide for stability or wider than we normally do for a plank. Two, one, all right. Now I'm going to do the hip lift with my knees bent the entire time, arms out to anchor me, coming up, getting that lower back on the ground, just tapping those toes at the bottom, and then coming back up, bringing those knees to the face. You should really feel your abs start to warm up now, guys. Two, one, yes. Going back into my plank with T-spine rotation. Ha-ha. 
hopefully you're feeling pretty alive at this point. That is the purpose of this. Get that blood move in. Three, two, one. Yeah. Back into my hip lift. Making sure my mic is still on. <laughs> Here we go. I'm doing the harder version now. Bringing those legs up. Touching those toes. Trying really hard to get that lower back to touch the ground. And I'm on the ground. There we go. All right. So this is our last set of each. Actually, that was our last set of hip lifts. Now this is our last set of plank with rotation. Got a little zen there, got a little meditative. Forgot where we were. <laughs> it's easy to lose track when you're in physical exertion. All right, that was it. We're gonna go right into our homework. What the what? So again, if you need to pause this to recover before we go into the homework, please do. Otherwise, let's just go right into it. So we're gonna be doing our homework, which is 20 squats, 10 knee grabs, 20 swimmers. Guys, I can't tell you how much I'm loving those swimmers, especially since I have some posture issues and I'm working on, but those swimmers are really, really helping. I'm also trying to open up my chest. And so through opening up my chest, I'm breathing easier and it's making it a lot easier to have a good range of motion with those swimmers. But let's go ahead and start with our 20 squats. So again, if you have something heavy that you wanna do this with, you feel free to do that, that's fantastic. Otherwise, we're just gonna go right into it with body weight squats. So here's four, here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Yes. Then we have our wonderful, wonderful knee grabs. So I have my arms in tight to my chest. My legs are out straight at the bottom. I come in. Use those shins, guys. The shins are your friends. Keeping those shoulders over those hips. Coming back down. Doing 10 of these. So this is three. We counted at the bottom. This is four. This is five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Awesome. Going right into our swimmers. Cannot sing the praises of these enough. So I'm on my belly. Got my feet pushed into the floor. I'm gonna reach forward. I'm gonna spread my fingers out. And then as I pull my hands in next to my ribs, I'm gonna lift up, come out, reach out as far as I can, and then up. Reach out as far as I can and up. Doing 20 of these. It's four. That's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and voila warriors i'm super super proud of you um i hope you find the stories of the month this month talking about everyday heroes inspiring um i know that i've heard a lot of fantastic stories about everyday heroes and um it inspires me to be a better person and uh 
Um, this, the stories that I really love about everyday heroes are um, the different warriors around the world when they tell their stories. Um, there was a, we, we were telling um, the one story about the gentleman in Boone, Iowa, the warrior there, who had to have a double transplant lung, um, a double lung transplant surgery. And um, the doctors were so amazed at how quickly he progressed. And it was because he had done so much training at Training for Warriors there before the surgery that really helped him with his recovery process and to stay strong. So it's not just about flipping over cars to get them off human beings. It's also about your own physical resiliency. When you guys are working out, it's really helping out your immune system. And that's a super important thing to be working on right now. So we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Stay healthy, guys. We love you. We miss you. Meow, meow, meow. You did it. Yay. You went into the roar. You slayed the dragon. You did all the things.